Joining me now is the man who heads up Porsche's operations here in India, Pavan Shetty. We are surrounded by some of the hottest cars in the country and a whole lot of horsepower. So it's a great setting, Pavan, thank you. Thank you, Siddharth. Great to see you here and here, especially. Absolutely delighted. We're Absolutely <laughs> delighted. I said, this is, this is the place where people like you and me would really enjoy yes, every single day. Beats being in the boardroom, for sure. Uh, appreciate your time. Now, it's pretty much the entire range that we have here around us as well. So let me jump straight into it first off and ask you about product. I mean, you know, the sort of conventional wisdom still says extremely niche brand, you know, no prospects in India. And here we are so many years down the line. Uh, you know, you've had a healthy growth of that business. Today, for you, Porsche India, where do things stand as uh, we get into 2018? So I've seen this brand gradually become more acceptable within the Indian norms. Have heard words like uh, not practical, um, we would prefer the SUVs or the sports cars, okay. this would not reach the potholes, the speed breakers and now when I look back <clears throat> and see what 718 did to us, uh, from being just 5% of our portfolio, it went on to become 15-18% to 18 of the portfolio. Wow. And places like Calcutta, Bhuvneshwar and, and Pune, these are the places which have really added growth to the product like that. So it's not your Delhi Bombay anymore, it's <clears throat> yeah. much so, much more than that. So it tells me that not only is there an acceptability and awareness of the brand but also the entire embracing the sports car culture and that's a welcome break and that's a change which I think Porsche has brought in this country and that gets me really happy. You know a lot of times people like to attribute that to changing infrastructure and I'm sure that plays a role obviously but is it also a different kind of buyer because possibly when you first came into the uh, Indian market um, at the time spending X amount of money and upwards was the reserve of let's say a mature buyer. I'm not going to get into an age limit here, but generally older buyers. That's kind of gone now, right? You find a lot of younger people willing to also spend a lot of money, um, obviously assuming they have it. Is that another reason you think? Changing profile of buyer? So definitely there is a change in profile uh, because there is new new set of customers which are coming in. So earlier sports cars were more a uh, forte or let's say a prerogative of the select set of buyers which were in key cities and they would keep changing their cars or adding cars. You never had the increase of the pie. With 718 coming with the package that it offers at the price that it offers, it certainly has opened eyes of a lot of these customers who are ready to experiment at that price. Earlier, with the prices we had of the cars, given the duty structure we have in the country, I think experimentation at that price would withhold a lot of buyers from getting to these cars. But with the product portfolio we have, with a 718 Cayman, a Boxster, a 911 with this plethora of range, and then you have the Panamera, I think buying has become so much more easier. Now, the Indian buyer is not a purist either, right? I mean, the whole turbo, naturally aspirated argument is not something that again deters them. So, or, think, or correct me if I'm wrong. I think the trend is more or less uh, international. There are some customers I've met who love pure cars, as in naturally aspirated, they like to hear the shifting of the gear. But they're also somebody who are also okay with the turbocharged cars. But at the same time, they have a heart for uh, yeah. uh, naturally aspirated cars. So, <clears throat> this is also the trend uh, internationally. There's nobody who's getting up and saying, I'll only buy a naturally aspirated car. Yeah, of course, I'd love a naturally aspirated car. I would also like a turbo car, which is a lot more efficient and a lot more faster. But I would have the best, best of both worlds in the end of the day. So, the trend is not typically different from India and outside. So and, and of course, with 718, I think uh, a lot of that got proved to a lot of people, right? That with turbo, you can still get the same or, or some, in some cases, better levels of acceleration and also a great sound. Yes. Also a great yes. sound. So, um, yeah, I certainly am not someone who calls myself a purist. But I remember being surrounded by a lot of them the first time we drove the car. And them coming out with, you know, wide-eyed surprise as to what it can do. Uh, the point you make, though, of what it's been able to do for your portfolio in India, is that something that you expected before the cars came in? Yes. Or was it a revelation? The extent of response is a revelation. Mm -hmm. I knew it would work. But so well, I wasn't like 100% sure because um, I've still seen this market in the last seven years where I've heard people talk, heard their doubts, heard uh, their inhibitions about uh, usage, serviceability, so on and so forth. But when it came in, <coughs> the response was welcoming. We, we, when we came in, in the beginning, we were sold off for four or five months. You're when still kind of yeah. behind on that, I'm guessing, uh -huh. or you're still kind of running a little under pressure there. Yes, I mean, and and and. 
these are not the customers who bought this car as a third car, the fourth car. These are entering the Porsche portfolio for the first time. And, and, and that says a lot. This, this is really exciting. And these are also not the customers who know nothing about the cars. They're learning driving on a sports car the first time. Even that's not true. So well-read, well-educated customers who know about their sports cars. And when these kind of customers get into your portfolio, I mean, you're only nurturing them for the future. And they stay with the brand. No, and of course, luckily uh, for you, the, the product really speaks for itself, right? It delivers. It's uh, our running winner of the sports car category at our awards as well, the, the Boxster. So, uh, so absolutely, the, I think the product does that for you. Um, given that, given the fact that now it's allowed you to get to, uh, you know, a bit more scale, uh, probably a different position from where you were two years ago for sure, uh, what becomes the focus for you this year then? I know you have new cars coming, but we'll talk about the new cars from a, from a business strategy consolidation point of view, where, where are you this year? So, focus for us, um, uh, the number one focus for me, uh, whichever business gets handled, is customers in the first place. So, we are getting very close to the customers, uh, enhancing the entire buying experience and then the owning experience. So, buying experience is still <coughs> um, is easy because uh, the cars look great, uh, they come at a good price point, they have very good reputation. But the next phase is living up to their expectations because our customers are not the routine commute kind of customers. They are personally involved. The emotions are so high. So our challenge is to live up to that level, which is much more than an other automobile manufacturer's uh, expectations, so to say, because for them, it's more about commute. But with us, there are customers who would keep looking at the car. They would wash it themselves. They will not let others touch it. And to be able to handle these customers in the way they want us to handle also needs a different mindset even at the technician level forget forget at the management levels and that's that's something that we're working really hard on and that's that's something where i want to be where every customer understands and connects with the customer the way he wants us to connect with him In all this, we can't lose track of the fact that the Cayenne still remains sort of backbone of your India operations. Uh, new generation is always exciting. We saw that with the last uh, cycle change as well. But with the new car that's coming this year, um, given the response it's already received worldwide, are your expectations sky high? Yes. Uh, we've been waiting for this car for a long time. And it should be in the summer, right? Sometime this summer? Yeah. Um, no, a little later than that. Okay. Uh, maybe maybe towards the, towards the end of range is what we're expecting the car to come to India. But yeah, Kyan um, as a brand name itself is quite successful within India. Uh, the new Kyan takes just not one notch, it takes multiple notches up in terms of its handling, suspension, drivability. So, and I think that's also what we as Indians like. You know, size does matter when it comes to automobiles to all of us. And when you have a sports car behavior in a car like Kyan, what more could you ask? Yeah, when it drives like that. It drives like that. And, and this is something which I'm very, very excited to see what happens because the last generation was very successful. Uh, we just got done with our uh, last lot of cars a few days back, end of March, and we, we like totally sold off. So you're really ready for the new really one? Really ready. The <laughs> dealerships are ready. They're already accepting bookings for the new Cayenne. And we're already getting good response already. Even without uh, any mention about it, uh, nobody's seen a car, but there's already a good response for the car. I, I haven't driven it, by the way. That's, that's one of the things that's gotten away from me. Um, so I, I'm one of those people who's dying to drive it. But uh, with the new generation, globally, there's also so much talk about you know, what's happening with Porsche as a company. Um, I think it's the first representation, well, that and the Panamera in many ways are the first representation of uh, where the future of mobility is going. So from an Indian perspective or context, uh, does the hybrid become relevant? Is that something that you would start to see a greater traction or inquiry for as well? See, I mean, first of all, we need to understand what is Porsche as a brand? Porsche as a brand, in my opinion, is a trendsetter. The first one who could imagine putting an engine behind the car, getting it to drive, create a turbo at a time and the oil crisis was happening. So we've done things which, which nobody really imagined can happen with cars. And made them yeah. work. Yeah. And, and made it work. So there were also questions about a hybrid in a sports car. How does it really fit in? Why does it fit in? So I would be happy to mention that 
we will embrace all the technologies uh, which happen, be it an electric car, a hybrid car, or gasoline car, any technology. Uh, we would be more than happy as long as it fits within our DNA. Uh, hybrid in India would work, definitely. One, because it also adds to the power quotient of the mm. car. It's not just yeah. about... It's green. just not about efficiency. Uh, it, it's, for example, in, in a hybrid Panamera, it gives 130 horsepower more. It, it drops at least, shaves off at least 0.2 seconds when you talk about 0 to 100. And I'm talking of a two-ton car, which is talking about this performance. And it still lets you get into city and use perfectly an electric car with a 50 kilometer range. What more could you possibly ask for? And, and it can charge the battery even while you're driving on your gasoline engine. And it, it does everything that you can ask for. So... <coughs> For me, hybrid is a great option depending on what kind of a customer are you and what is your expectation from your car. So, uh, we will also have an electric car sometime in future, which is a mission E, which will also not just be a power saving device, but also is, will, is designed to give you the same thrill that Porsche as a brand stands for. And, and even that within India, I think, has a place <coughs> because uh, when I meet customers these days, there is a natural acceptance to even a hybrid and electric it's not something that say no this is not for me that's not for me i'm only a gasoline guy i'm only a diesel guy that's that's no longer true uh, a big example of this is when we launched the macan the four cylinder r4 and the acceptance it had within a diesel portfolio that it fights with it was brilliant the way it is positioned price despite that the acceptance was mind-blowing so in my opinion Porsche as a brand in India is really strong and I think whatever we do I'm very sure customers would be more than happy to experiment with what we offer. 